So today I am going to be showing you one of the most packed all-in-one AI tools out there right now. This tool doesn't just have the best of the best models, but this tool can help you create long-form content like podcasts, short films, and a whole lot more. This tool also lets you generate images and realistic, consistent videos with the best of the best models. Even the number one AI video gen model is here. And the best part? It's completely free. Now do make sure you do not skip any part of this video because I will be showing you how to use it for free and how to print by creating an AI influencer and using that influencer to create viral content. Also be sure to like and subscribe for more AI tools like this. Okay guys, this is the tool we are going to be talking about today and it is called SGIN AI. Now what this is, is literally an all-in-one AI image and video agent that can literally transform your visions into reality with AI-powered image, video, and 3D content creation. It is an all-in-one AI tool. So yes, it has the best of the best models. As you can see over here, this is the agent mode. We can either select a template if we want and just tell it what to do, and this is used to generate long-form videos. And yes, it is multimodal, in case you are wondering. And this is the tool mode where we can generate single videos or images if we want with, as you can see here, the best of the best image models. And if you go to video, you see the best of the best video models too. Models like Sora 2, VO 3.1, Kling 2.6, and even Seadance, which is the number one video gen model out there. And if we slide down a bit more, you can see that these are the use cases or the templates. And there is a whole lot you can use this for, UGC style videos to Pixar style story videos, and lots more. If you click on show more, you see how vast this really is. I mean, you could just keep on clicking on show more and it would keep going down. And another thing is, this is a really simple interface, so all we need to do is just put in our prompt. So let us say something like this. Okay, so we have this prompt here and we can select the templates. Once again, we can see that these are the official templates and these are the user created templates. So in the official templates, you can select anyone. I am thinking something like this, Sora to extend. Okay, so I did change the prompt a little bit and I also changed the template to this Sora 2 story video V2, which is for consistent characters and multi-shot. Okay, so let's just run this. And as you can see, it has taken us over to the workspace and this is the prompt over here, and it is currently thinking. Now it's generating the script. Then as you can see over here, you can see that it's multimodal. Then here you can select your priorities, whether you prioritize quality or cost. But quality is what we want from this. And over here is the execution mode where we can just leave it at auto. Okay then, over here we can share it or go back to the history. So let's wait for the script to finish generating, okay? Then as you can see, the script is done generating. This is the first generation prompt. It has created a prompt for the generation of different shots, and there are six different shots. And this is the plan, which shows you the step-by-step -step process on how it does everything, or how it's going to execute every single process, right from the beginning to the end. And as you can see over here, this is the image generation that uses the best of the best image models. And as you can see, it has really consistent characters and really detailed character design. And as you can see over here, it's still generating images for the different shots that it has planned out. Okay, then let's wait for all the images to finish generating. Now, as you can see over here, we can either edit it by adding to chat or download it. And that goes for every single image here. So this is customizable. Okay, then as you can see, all the images are done generating and all of them look really, really nice. And it's currently generating using image to video with audio using the Sora model as we requested. And one thing I would like to note about this tool is this branch feature where you can literally branch from any point in the generation. You can branch from here. You can literally branch from any point in the generation into a new project and continue from that point, which is a really cool feature for editing in case you want to edit from a specific point in the project. So yeah, let's wait for the videos to generate with Sora. Okay, as you can see, the very first video is done generating, so let's just take a look at it. And that was nice. A really consistent and prompt accurate video. It did a good job. No morphing whatsoever. 
So yeah, we can go there to download it, or we can add it to chat and edit it if we want. Now let's just wait for the entire story to be done generating. Okay guys, so as you can see, it's done generating, and it's exactly the number of seconds that we told it. And then over here is basically the story breakdown for each scene. So let's just basically go here and take a look at it. では次の漢字ちゃんと見ておくようにここまでで質問あるか Yeah, that was really nice. As always, we could edit any scene that we want, which is really cool, and we can go here to download it. This did a really, really amazing job. So yeah, we could basically edit this too, if you want, and you can do that for any scene. Now let us go back and use the tool mode. Then you can see that over here we have image gen, video gen, lip sync, and other. So first of all, we can create an image with the best of the best image generative models, and this is also multimodal, so we can upload images. And I think we should select Nano Banana Pro and put in our prompt. So we have this prompt over here, and for the aspect ratio, we should leave it at auto. And for the resolution, as you can see, it can go all the way to 2K resolution, which is nice. We could also enable the unlimited version, but we do not need that. So let us simply click on generate and it will start generating. Okay, so in no time at all, it is done generating and this is what it cooked. And this looks completely amazing. You could download it over here. As always, it looks hyper realistic and just completely prompt accurate. We can straight up take it to video, upscale it, or take it to lip sync. Well, let us put in another prompt. So we have this prompt over here. And as always, we leave the shot at auto. We will increase it to 2K, then click on generate and we are using the Nano Banana Pro model, which is one of the best of the best, in my opinion. Once again, in no time at all, it is done generating, and we can download it over here, and this looks like an amazing, amazing image. No morphing whatsoever, just prompt accurate and realistic. Then as you can see here, we can send it straight to video, upscale it, or to lip sync. Now, let us move on to the video generation models, and as you can see, they have a lot and I mean a lot. And they have both text to video and image to video tools. So for example, let us try out Seedance 1.5 Pro text to video and let us put in something like this. We have this prompt over here and for the aspect ratio, I think 16 by nine is okay. Then the duration can go all the way to 12 seconds but we can just leave it at five seconds and click on generate. Okay guys, it's done generating and let us take a look at it. Okay, let me just find the perfect angle for this shot. <laughs> and that was amazing. Really, really good execution of the prompt and really nice lip sync too. We did not have to run it straight through the lip sync because it has really nice lip sync too. So now let us go on and use the Google VO 3.1 image to video and let us try it out. As you can see, this accepts both start and end frames, which is cool. So let us upload an image. So we are uploading this image here and we can use a prompt like this. We can use a prompt like this and the aspect ratio should be set at nine by 16 because this image is nine by 16. So I think that would be the best and we can click on generate. Oh, in no time at all, it is done generating. And let us take a look at what it cooked. Hand on the lapel, give me intense. Good. Now hands on your hips, perfect. And cross the arms, look right here, fierce stare. As always, it did a good job. I mean, it is Veo 3.1 after all. This is just amazing. No morphing whatsoever and really nice lip sync. So you can download it over here. And I want us to use one of the images that we generated. So let us upload one of them. Let us use this one and put in a prompt. So let us say a very simple prompt like this and click on generate. Okay, so it is done generating. Let us take a look at it. Once again, no morphing whatsoever. Amazing quality and really nice video. So let us click on here and download it. 
So yes, you can literally use this to generate anything you like, from viral long-form videos to an entire AI influencer with the image and video models. So be sure to check this all out with the link in the description. And do not forget, they do give you free credits, so use them well, and be sure to like and subscribe for more AI content like this.